It has been six days since directives were given to families of retrenched PNGDF soldiers to vacate the houses they were occupying at Mari Barracks. While the affected families described the eviction as forceful, the directive was from the PNGDF Iraqi. Those affected include retrenched soldiers who joined and served the Defense Force between 1970s to the year 2000. These interviews were conducted last week after they were asked to pack up and leave. So me still waiting entitlement blown in. Na me like him container. <coughs> na <coughs> big, yeah, liquid money and balloons, uh, ticket money blow me too. Na me plow go. So man plow me 2001 and finish. Or give me 500 kina. That is inhuman. This is against human rights. What have they done to our old ones? Most of these fathers have saved that back or even brought this country to where it is now, the independent state of Papua New Guinea, through the col colonial era uh, days to now. So we kindly ask if the Prime Minister can call in to stop this um, eviction exercise that is going on. In 2010, a team of defense officers were tasked to review the Defense Force Retirement Benefits Fund Act to maximize benefits for its members. In 2012, the ONI-led government allocated 100 million kina to settle entitlements for the ex-servicemen. However, to date, there are no proper records of how much money was paid out to the retrenched offices, if any payments were made at all. I call on the Defense Force Secretary and Defense Force Commander to stop and account for all the servicemen go through whatever entitlements that they have under the uh, manual of personal administration within the Defense Force, give them a golden handshake and send them home properly. This treatment is inhumane, it's uncalled for, and should stop immediately. Meanwhile, for the families affected, some have vacated the houses while others are yet to move out. Sekla Gunga, National MTV News.